Hello, my name is Rachel Jordan, and I am a violinist. I play in the Rocco Chamber Orchestra. I also play with the James Carter String Quartet at Loyola University, and I'm currently now forming a new orchestra at Baby Benjamin Franklin Elementary School. Alicia and I had talked about um, maybe doing something a while back, and uh, she found out that they were renovating this space, you know, the El Dorado Ballroom, which is a historic place for a lot of uh, jazz musicians. And uh, she knows a lot about me. We've been, I've been playing in Broca since almost the very beginning. My dad had played at this uh, space a while back before he passed. And so she said, Rachel, this would be a great space for you to, to do your thing uh, with Music Alive. And I was like, yeah, this is what I do. You know, just present great music. Uh, it's kind of a combination of a, a classical, have jazz, or kind of anything kind of concert. But it's always just really good music. It gives you kind of an insight into that individual. Like, we, we only see each other as a, a monolith, like as the orchestra, but in this uh, series, you actually get to get up close and personal with that person, so. And I happen to, you know, have my, my thing that I've been doing in New Orleans for quite some time. And I also, you know, travel with my family, uh, you know, doing jazz concerts and just playing really good music. My dad was an avant-garde jazz musician. Um, he just recently passed, Kid Jordan. And as I said, he played at this, this room a while back. My dad has had this legendary career. He was knighted um, as a Chevalier by the French government uh, when I was in high school a while back. Um, so the French government recognized his artistic contributions to avant-garde music or music in general. He taught at Southern University in New Orleans, but he developed these after-school programs. Uh, one of them was the Jazz and Heritage program, which taught kids. At the end of his life, he was doing the Louis Armstrong uh, Satchmo Jazz Camp, which, you know, a bunch of musicians have come out of. Music Alive started a while back because I wanted to expand. I mean, I'm from an avant-garde jazz family. I'm playing classical music with the Louisiana Philharmonic, but I have all of these interests. So I started arranging, getting some arrangers to arrange music for us that included like a chamber orchestra that played jazz. And then, you know, we just kept expanding to different things. I mean, we actually had a one concert where we did a flamenco, we had the dancers and then we played. We pretty much figured out that everybody really loved the concerts when a person came up to me and said, I really don't know if that was classical or if that was jazz. And I said, it was just really great music, wasn't it? And it's like, I think I like classical music. I said, you do. So we're combining like my uncle, uh, Alvin Batista's tune. Uh, he has a tune called Music Came with River Niger and another piece that he wrote for me called Glimpses. I uh, talked to Courtney Bryan, um, who's uh, becoming this fabulous uh, composer, being recognized. So I'm doing her, her piece, Sizzaji, it's a crazy name. I'm gonna also do a Florence Price piece, which is more of a spiritual. And that'll be the first half. And then I'm featuring my sister, Stephanie, who's a fabulous jazz singer. We're gonna throw in some favorites and some dedications. Uh, we're gonna feature some music by Joni Mitchell. And then I have some surprises. I can't tell you everything I'm doing. When I came in, I played a little bit of um, We Shall Overcome So. I just always have to show respect for the space. A lot of people have paid dearly to be able to have me sit here. So I'm always very conscious of, you know, being respectful. And I always do at all my concerts play a little bit of spirituals. And this happens to be for me one of the most spiritual pieces that I could play. I mean, when I walked in, I just, you know, I could feel the energy. It's just so beautiful and I can see everybody dancing in this place. I can see what's happened here. So for me, it feels good being with my dad and now being without him. But like I, I, I always tell everybody, uh, his, his spirit is around us. So all we're doing is just picking up the pieces from his energy and it's become something that we just carry on through the music.